Embroidery company a and Master Images is shifting gears by making PPE gear for first responders, healthcare workers, and others responding to COVID-19. Arshalon Stevens has that story. The pandemic of COVID-19 has put people out of work, businesses are suffering, and the economy is taking a huge hit. Owner of a and Master Images, Howard Potter, tells me that they had to lay off 14 of their 20 full-time employees. When everything had hit, orders started to slow up to basically nothing. Potter says they had to act quickly in order to try and salvage their business. We realized that while we sell a lot of first responders apparel, safety gear, we do uh, medical signage, you know, all these different types of safety and, and, and uh, medical products. They were able to access face shields, masks, and medical gowns. We were able to start uh, selling medical supplies to local hospitals, to our local county. Mohawk Valley Health System has an engineering team who makes face shields, but they are using over 200 a day. MVHS asked AMP if they were able to help them keep up with the high demand by making face shields. My wife came up with a, a brilliant idea on how to resource USA uh, made materials to help build these masks with our staff. Potter says they'll be able to make about 2,000 masks a day, but as their orders increase, they'll be able to bring back more workers and produce more masks. We're actually going to be breaking everything down to the old school method of an assembly line um, to where, you know, one person is, you know, specking the part out to cut it down to a specific length and size. The next person will adhere pieces together and then you have the final of pressing some of the pieces together. People can also utilize their online website to purchase PPE. People can actually buy these products right on our Facebook page. If they go to our Facebook page at AMP Master Images, uh, we actually have a medical uh, online store set up for these supplies. So people are not only just buying them for the hospitals. Uh, if there's shortages, there are also people buying them for uh, their family members that are nurses or pe people that are immunocompromised. Uh, so they do have access to these materials. Reporting in Utica, Shalon Stevens, Eyewitness News.